welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am filming as you can tell by the title a pretty big autumnal clothing fashion haul i'm gonna say it's probably the biggest haul i've ever done um, let me just flip you around to show you what i've got to show you as you can tell on this bed i have a mountain full of clothes that is how many clothes I'm gonna to have to get through. So I'm gonna make this a pretty speedy haul in terms of just trying on an item, showing you, talking it through. I'll try and leave prices and links to everything that is still available online down below in the description box. So if you did want to shop any of these items yourself, feel free to do so. I will say as well, a lot of these items were very kindly gifted by the PR girls at each of these brands. So I have Nasty Girl, Boohoo, Misguided, Everlane, Pieces, Noisy May, and Lovies. I think that's it. So there is a lot to get through. So sit back, relax, grab a cuppa and some bickies. Get cozy, get comfy. In fact, I'm even in comfy attire myself this morning. It's 8 a.m. I'm filming. Yes, I'm filming at 8 a.m. This set is from Fig Leaves. I love it. It's super, super cozy and comfy and warm. And then this top is from a brand called AYM. Let's jump into the autumnal haul. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. It would mean a lot and really help me out with my channel. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with misguided, and let's be honest, autumn, it's the season for cozy, comfy, casual vibes of which I am a big fan of. I think that's why it's my favorite season. And this set from misguided is so soft, cozy, comfy, casual. Look how long the sleeves are. Oh my God, I'm in love with this set. I posted a picture on Instagram of this the other day and so many of you guys asked me for links to it. You were obsessed with it just as much as I am. You can buy them as separates. They don't come as a set. I got the jogger version, but there is a wider leg culotte version as well available. If you purchase anything from this haul, this is a must. Okay, sticking with the cozy, comfy vibes, this next piece that I got from Misguided is this all-in-one, I suppose you'd say jumpsuit. It is made from like a nice soft cotton material that is very soft and cozy and comfy. I love the fact that it's got pocket de details, a tie waist detail, it's cuffed at the bottom. It is something that I probably would wear just around the house on like casual comfy lazy days, but let's face it, I actually work from home anyway majority of the time. So this is the typical comfy, cozy, kind of vibe that I go for for pretty much every day. This is a perfect Netflix and chill outfit. Okay, this next top is from Misguided. We're still on Misguided. And it's one of those that I've been seeing everywhere with some kind of mesh detail sleeve. Now, I love a sleeve detail. I think it's quite classy, chic, timeless, and just adds a pop of something to what is a plain outfit, i.e. Top shop straight jeans, very simple and plain. But um, I just like the little detail, like, you know, if you've got a nice coffee, lunch date with the girls or something, you want to be a little bit dressier. I did also get this hat from Misguided and it kind of arrived a little misshapen. But I think it's got, it's got wire in it, so I guess hopefully over time it will shape up to be a pretty normal hat. But I love the colour of this. I thought it was very autumnal and I love a fedora, especially like Christmas markets time. I'm a big fan of either like a pom-pom hat or a fedora or something. Another thing that I've got whilst I'm here, I might as well try on with this outfit, is this faux leather jacket in a UK tan. Good for layering at this time of the year when the weather can't really make up its mind. So this is a typical example of something that I would just throw on with a simple outfit, maybe an all black outfit could look quite nice. Good length as well if you wanted to wear leggings with it, uh, it kind of like covers your bum. I wasn't going to show you this because it's kind of like not really fitting with especially this outfit. But this is more to replace my Jack Wills gilet that I've got and pretty much worn to death. This is one that I probably, you won't see on Instagram, you won't see on the vlog, or maybe on the vlog. This is like an out and about going on a nice long country walk when I feel like I need that extra layer of warmth. Cozy autumn winter walks. This will be coming out. 
Okay, I'm gonna move on to a new brand now, Everlane, one that I've never shopped before and have heard of because it is a sustainable brand. So if you're looking more into sustainability and fashion, then Everlane is a great brand to start with. Let me just show you the packaging. The way that it arrived was beautiful. The packaging was spot on. I was really, really impressed. Nice paper cardboard packaging that can obviously easily be recycled. I got some boots because it is boot season. I think this is called the day knit boot. I, again, I'll leave all pricing, sizing information, links and everything in the description. But this is so comfy. I would say that because it's the, the sizing is abroad i would recommend sizing up in these i believe i went for a uk six but i could have done with six and a half seven they're gonna be more of a nice going for lunch with the girls a pub or something like that that i don't really need to do too much walking around in i probably won't wear these around city center walking for ten thousand plus steps apart from that beautifully made uh, nice ribbing design there i've gone all monotone with this i went with some jeans in this like stone kind of color size six so again that's a uk 10 this is called the straight leg crop as you can tell, it is ever so slightly cropped. But I do really love the quality of these. Really impressed, they're so comfy. There's a little bit of give, but not too much. You know what, no, I'm happy with the size of these. So this is another basic I got from Everlane. This, again, stone colored crew neck t-shirt. Very plain and simple, so much so that I got another one in black. Did I get the exact same? Yeah, exact same, but I got a large in this one. Let me switch out and try on this one for you. So this is what this looks like. Again, quality, really impressed with. Can't fault. Feels really, really soft. I'm gonna class this as a basic staple for autumn. It is, of course, a cozy knit jumper. This one has a beautiful high neck design and almost cable knit on the sleeves. What size did I get this in? A medium. Oh my god, it's so thick. You could wear tucked out. It's a nice length and tucked in. I quite like the idea of wearing these sort of jumpers under a little dress, which, moving on swiftly to low Vs, I picked up quite a few bits, one of which was a dress, £56. So, oh, hair in the mouth. So this is a brand called Lovies, which I have quite a few bits from. And it's a nice frilly high neck design, nice little frill detail here on the shoulder. And I kind of paired it with this jumper on top, but I'm gonna try this on without the jumper for now, just so you can see what it looks like on. I love this dress. I feel like a nice little mini dress with long sleeves boots and when it gets really cold tights and boots leather jacket it's a nice outfit for this time of the year that looks very well put together as opposed to the typical which i live in jeans jumper jacket it's actually quite comfy and dare i say it comfier than jeans nice and floaty and light and comfortable so yeah it's very comfy these trousers i have in white and beige and now black because they're just such a good staple they're like a chino style not chino they're like a tailored trouser pant that has a nice big thick buckle belt design here really high-waisted which is what I just, which is what i love about these okay i've just popped on the basic black top from everlane um, but these are what this pair of trousers look like as i said nice and high-waisted and yeah just a great fit nice and comfortable pair on with a pair of like maybe strappy black sandals i do actually have a pair which i'll show you later from nasty gal or a nice court shoe and you've got a nice little sleek simple all black sophisticated smart outfit that you can't really go wrong with okay this is another pair of trousers i also got from lovies and again, just to throw in an extra pair that's an alternative to a jean, something that's just a little smarter that you can dress up or pair with trainers and dress down for a more casual look. And I like them, I'm a fan. I do have one other pair of trousers, which I'm gonna try on now. <sighs> Faux leathers, the season, I feel like autumn and winter. I live in trousers like this as an alternative to a jean. Just trying these on, the only thing I wish it had was pockets. 
that's kind of annoying. Um, I was going to say size down, recommended, but there is the tie waist detail here, so you know you can cinch it in with that. Um, but yeah, nice pair, simple, straight leg, and it has like a dart down the front as well. The last item I got from Lovies is this very seasonal check jacket. Tom loves this. I tried it on the other day and he was like, I love that. So it gets the boys seal of approval, which sometimes you never know with items like this. They could be a bit too out there and they'd be like, what is that? Or in Tom's case, in this case, he loves it. Okay, next up I have some items from a PR company called Be The Agency. They represent a couple of brands, two of which are a brand called Pieces and a brand called Noisy Moat. Noisy May, let me get that right. Both of which are available on ASOS. So if these are on ASOS, I'll leave them linked. If not, they do have their own websites as well. Anyway, I'm rambling. This one in particular is from Pieces. I love this so much. It's a knit wrap skirt in this gorgeous beige tone. So this is the first item that I got. It comes with a matching cardigan as well if you wanna go with the all knit co-ord vibe. And then I also picked out this from Noisy May. A nice oversized black linen blazer. What size did I get this in? Because it does feel very oversized. Medium. Okay, so I guess you could stay true to size if not size down. But if you want that super oversized look, then maybe stay true to size. I wouldn't wear it like this with this outfit. I'd probably pair it with high-waisted jeans and maybe one of my little AYM crop tops. So a bit of pop and midriff and maybe some chunky trainers. That's probably how I would wear it. And then they also sent me this jacket, which I'm not sure I'll keep this one because Noisy May, again, in a medium, it's green, like actual green if the fit was different, but you know, I'm just not feeling this one. I don't think it's very me. <sighs> Is it? No. Is that not the most autumnal colour? Oh my God, with that green as well. So this is a big, cosy puffer jacket. Much like the misguided nude gilet that I got, this is going to be more for like wintry walks, you know, like in the countryside when you feel like you need a big, cosy puffer jacket. And I just thought this was a good colour for this time of the year if we have a particularly cold day. Okay, let's move on to Boohoo and then we have Nasty Gal. First thing that I got from Boohoo are some chunky trainers. Balenciaga who? I mean, these are obviously trying to dupe the designers. I'm all for designer shoes, but I do feel like the Balenciaga trainers are a trend. And I only really want to invest my money if I'm going to into designer pieces that I'm going to keep forever. And I honestly think I would get sick of the chunky trainers eventually, or I'd feel too old for them or whatever. I'd grow out of them. So I thought I would test the waters with these chunky trainers from Boohoo. I did size up to a seven, however, they're too big. So I probably need to switch them back for a six. Another pair of shoes I got from Boohoo. I love these. These are some like knee high faux leather nude boots with a nice chunky heel that is actually quite high. So one that I would probably wear um, to like the local pub for a nice pub lunch if we're going a bit dressier, that kind of thing. I also got some other shackets, jackets, that kind of thing, which I feel like we should just dive straight into. That's two, being khaki. This one's a cropped one, so let me just show you what this one looks like on. I love this. In fact, of the two, this is my favourite one, I think. I like the fact that it's cropped. It's a little different to anything else that I own already, with like some plain faux leather trousers black so it's like all black 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 boots i quite like the element of this it just kind of adds a little something extra and then the other one that i got is a slightly darker khaki a longer line as well so if you did want to wear leggings with it it covers the bum maybe if i sized up like i said by quite a lot but this i picked up in a, a uk8 that's probably why Maybe they had sold out of my size, but if there was a 12, 14, even a 16, I'd probably get that in that. So, not sure about that one. And then I also got this jacket, shacket, in a UK 10. This one, it's more of like a stone ecru colour. Pocket detail util utility jacket. I'm going to kind of speak today. It's throwing me off that I'm showing it to you with this skirt and top. And now the sun's in my face. Let's move that around a bit. Oh, no, sun's there. 
Oh well, I hope you guys can see and not get too distracted by the sun. So this is what this jacket looks like. Nice little zip detail here. I love the utility style and the all neutral color. I do actually really like that. I think I would actually wear this with an all white outfit. Right, I'm gonna go cozy vibes with this next outfit and throw on, yet again, another Nick Coward. Okay, this is the next cohort. This is, we're still on Boohoo here. So, of the two, the misguided one so far trumps this one in terms of a luxe feel. It's a lot softer and cozy and thicker and more luxurious. Best part to a cohort is that obviously you can wear them as separates, you don't have to wear them as an outfit. These bottoms, they're thick enough to go out with, you know, they're not see through at all. My only issue is that the pockets seem to like add pounds here which i don't really need a couple of basic tees that i've got now from boohoo this black one which i don't really need to show you on it's the pretty much the same fit as the everlane one i really like that i like to stock up with basics at this time of year and then i also got this one in this like stone beige kind of color with a cute little pocket detail and then this one i love the design of this plain white t-shirt this is Boohoo Man, and I like how oversized the fit is. I probably pair this with some leather trousers. And then I also got from Boohoo Man, because they are all the more cozier and oversized in fit, I got a large in this crew neck, like, sweatshirt, plain and simple. Oh yes, the luxury, the softness, the coziness. I love a long sleeve nice little detail that I'm a big fan of and this sun is not working with me today thumbs up right let's move on to nasty girl now first of all shoes oh my god that's so weird you know when you see like f not floaters in your eyes but like stars I saw a stars there and I think it's because I bent over and for some reason I thought there was a spider in front of me <laughs> that's how my mind works I got some shoes from Nasty Gal. The first pair I'm in love with. They're very Topshop and Zara. And I have a pair from Primark in white that I love. So I thought I would also get a black pair. And then I also got some boots. Nice ankle boots. I just wear with like one of those hidden socks. Which I get from Primark. Because they have a nice little ankle design here. And studding. It does zip up the back as well for ease of access. And then I also got, lastly, a pair of chunky trainers, of which these are going to go back. They're not how I imagined they would look. They're actually, I feel like they're quite cheap looking. Ugh, I don't know. I liked online the fact that they had a cream sole. I thought that contrasted against the white nicely. But I actually think I prefer my Primark chunky trainers, honestly. So there's no point keeping both. So I think I'm going to send these ones back. I also got this, which, yes. Okay, so leather blazers are everywhere this season. This Boohoo Man's thing's annoying me. There we go. Um, they're everywhere this season. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for maybe a thrifted leather blazer. We will see. But I did pick up this more jacket style leather or faux leather jacket. <laughs> and it's nice and big and oversized. It's kind of like dad style, very 90s. But I quite like this trend. I really, really do. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with joggers out and about. But, you know, why not? I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like a criminal in something like this. Cinch this bad boy in and have it more, I don't know, Josephine style maybe. This is definitely a jacket one that will keep me very warm. I'm boiling now, actually. Trying on all these clothes is such a workout. Not that I'm complaining. But if you go shopping and do loads of trying on in shops as well, you guys know what I mean. So I've got three more items. Let's switch it out to a knit cord. Yay! My third and final one. This is like a waffle fabric, which, oh my God, amazing. So let's get this one on and I'll show you what it looks like on. <laughs> Again, these pockets though, they're just... As much as I love a pocket, it's the same fabric. Look at that hold. <laughs> and it just adds a big chunk onto your hip, which is annoying. Good cinema date night attire, maybe. Let me just put it down so you can see the cuffed bottom. 
yeah love this fabric this waffle fabric i just love i don't know why it's like hotels you know when you get a dressing gown that's like a waffle material oh my god i love it the next item is a blazer this one is in a uk 12 so i did size up it's like a beige needs an iron linen style blazer i'm gonna say very granddad vibes but you know that's what's in the label's stabbing me in the neck okay i won't wear it with this again maybe more with like jeans and a basic white tee and then a nice oversized blazer i'm heading into manchester tomorrow and i think i might wear this i mean i've got a jumper on so it doesn't really work but kind of roll the sleeves up as well oh yay right if you want any of these items if you want to see how i style them up eventually and like actually wear them out how i wear them out then um do head over to my instagram for phantom one last but not least i feel like we're ending this on a very typical staple autumn piece it is, of course, a high neck knit jumper. This one is plain. I wanted a plain, simple, no cable knit design, no rib design, just simple cream jumper. And what I love about this one is it's long as well. So I'm thinking leather leggings with that one probably. Let me try it on. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I love that neck design, simple. If I got it on back to front, no. Why is it longer at the front? Or is it just how I've got it on? Yeah, maybe just how I've got it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, leather pants I wanna wear this jumper with. Oh, and a nice pumpkin spice latte. I love a good Insta pick with a Starbucks drink. I just think I sometimes choose that over a handbag because I don't know, it's more festive and cozy and I love it. Anyway, that is everything that I picked up. I feel like as a result of this influx of new autumnal bits, I need a Depop sale. I need to list a load of items for you guys to buy if you want to. So if you've ever seen anything on my Instagram or if I wear anything on YouTube and you spot it and you like it and you want to buy it and it's not on Depop, just message me on Instagram because I might well be in the market for selling it but just haven't got around to listing it so do let me know if you ever spot anything that you want to buy and happy autumn tis the season eventually long winter walks or well, autumnal walks leaves on the floor pumpkins candles burning pumpkin spice latte oh my god who doesn't love autumn who doesn't love autumn best season of the year hands down <laughs> hands down anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs up if you did and stay tuned for next video where i hope to see you all there bye guys